I have to say something about what you said to get in touch with Putin. Putin has clearly said that he does not want to negotiate, he wants to keep fighting. He said that he is not ready to speak at all. After all, such is his quote. Why should he do this if Ukraine has run out of ammunition? That's exactly what we could have played again. That's interesting to hear from him, and that's actually saying it. To negotiate now because they are running out of ammunition is ridiculous. Yes, now that we have seen the presentation at Meishberger, yes, this little snippet of Putin. One might think that it would not be cut out of context at all. Let's take a look at how the whole thing is represented by Marcus Lands, who also works for the public sector. Here the picture looks, one might think, a little different. Let's take a look. He himself has commented on this these days and said the following. Let's listen in for a second. We have been promised a lot. And promises alone are not enough here. To negotiate now just because you are running out of ammunition, that would be ridiculous for us. But we are ready for a serious conversation. And we want to resolve all conflicts, especially this conflict, by peaceful means. But we must be clear that this should not be a pause for arming the enemy, but a serious conversation, aimed at ensuring the security of the Russian Federation. Well, I don't know, but I think it's already arranged for one or the other. There is a tiny difference. Yes, in one of the videos, or in the one presented by Meishberger, one could say it's a propaganda series. Putin is portrayed here. As if he does not want to conduct negotiations with Ukraine at all. And with Marcus Lands, on the other hand, it turned out that routine people simply have a strategic fear. That Ukraine does not want peace at all, but only uses these talks to retrofit if necessary, or to get new arms supplies from the West. And I mean, this idea is really quite ca. I don't even want to defend myself like Putin, or as a person who understands Putin, although this word Putin understander, is also such a media term that is used against anyone who simply has a different opinion from the mainstream. But Lord, this is now a side discussion, yes, I don't want to position myself that way right now. But you really have to try to report neutrally here and take such a small snippet. And tear it out of context in such a way is just really more ridiculous. In the sense that this was once again an anecdote, another train wall from the public service. Where people once again did not report neutrally. In that sense, it's doing well, staying healthy and chow.